Be speed coming at you another bad bike vlog i am so excited about today's adventure it's realistically something i've planned out in my mind for a great while and something i haven't been able to carry out for you guys until this point abandoned mine abandoned mine what more you guys want me personally history is my favorite subject of study there is nothing that fascinates me more as far as scholarly activities except for studying the past and today we're going to do just that guys we're going to go ahead and take this beast of a ride out into the mount diablo coal fields and investigate an old long forgotten mine that may still have a closed portal at the end i'm so ready to start this adventure guys let's get it you guys get a little bit of a behind the scenes today. I come out here, I see this drip of uh, what appears to be some type of liquid from my PCP compressor. Assume that it's water because it's water cooled from this bucket. Nope, that's oil. Super great. Probably need to go ahead and deal with that at some point today too. All right guys, we totally managed to make it out here with zero problems, zero traffic, zero anything. And I'm 100% in expectation of a great ride today. I love the Black Diamond coal fields because in these dawn hours, the, the hills just have a light of their own. I am most at home in these coal fields back here. And today we're gonna explore some of the fire trails and hopefully get to a really, really, really cool abandoned mine that I know of. It's kind of an ambitious trek. I mean, the last time I did this was like 15 years ago. So we'll see how it goes. But let me show you guys where I'm at. Alright guys, this is where we're at right now. Where's the you are here thing? Park office, cemetery, uh, I see Fredrickson. Where's the you are here thing? Parking thing, maybe this is it. Maybe we're like right here. No one knows. Ultimately, we're somewhere on this map. Legit perfect conditions. Could not be more perfect. All those years ago when I was training for triathlons and such, I would consider this point to be the post. This was the post, right? And when I first got my bike, it was this crucible for me to make it from the parking lot just to the post. I've come a little ways since then, and even now I'm like a decade and a half older, but I still feel, I don't know, it's not that bad of a ride to the post. Now, in comparison, there's no way this, this camera can put this into scale, but that's like 46 million feet of vertical rise, so let's get it. Holy oh. This is a crazy climb. There's no way my camera's gonna do this justice. Last time I arrived when I fell, I didn't realize the stabilization was so good that it was gonna level the horizon and make it look totally calm and cool even though I was physically upside down you see where that person is right there hiking that's literally the exact incline that I'm on currently but I see that light on that hill I'm like man if I could just get to the top both on this climb and in life Whew. passing the cow gate still climbing Brown in the bend on them, boys. In just a minute, though, you'll be able to see exactly how far we come from the parking area 
I wish I had like a GPS computer that would track how far and how fast I'm going. It's just not in the cards. And way out there is that parking area. Way out there. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys like I'm gonna do this in one shot. I'm gonna take a break real quick. This has been a hell of a climb. I mean, look at that. Whew. Haven't done anything yet about the old gooseneck issue either. We're still testing what we tightened up at the end of the last video. But if it works okay, I'm gonna run it for right now. I'm just not gonna be doing any super hard technical stuff. I mean, it's just fire trails, right? What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Yes. Look at that. Damn, this gear is so tall. I can just like spin tiny little reps and take in the moment. All right, guys, we are, first off, not doing haircuts right now. This is this is how luxurious I am in real life. It's a real thing. I'm not doing haircuts at this point, but we are doing achievements at this point. Look at where we're at. This is so lit to me. I don't see any other people. I love it like that. That's why I hang out with you guys instead of people in the real world because this is so much better. Down this way over here, we have uh, the descending trail. It's gonna take us to the Star Mine Base Camp as well as the, uh, the abandoned mine that I promised you. I'm tired, it's getting hot. That was a hell of a climb. Like realistically, if you guys saw that climb, you would know how difficult it was and really like, I'm telling you, my cameras aren't gonna catch it, but come and try it, all right? Come try it, it's, it's rough, and I'm 40, so it, it makes a difference how old you get. I did this 15 years ago, and I was good then, and I'm, I'm less than good now, a decade and a half in the future, so here comes a real pro. Let's see, let's see what this guy's gonna do. So I definitely want to make sure that I protect people's privacy so I'm not going to you know, show the guy's identity or anything. But man, that guy was cool, right? He was ripping it. He was out here. Hopefully when I get to uh, the age that I perceived him to be at, I'm doing as well as he is. Let's continue our trek. All right, guys, like an idiot, I completely left all of my GoPro batteries at the house. So I've got this one GoPro battery to run on for this one and it's already at 69%. So I'm going to have to kind of limit the, the riding footage, but I'll do better next time, I promise. Yeah, we ready. Let's go. This is comfortable though, this is a comfortable cruising speed. I hope there's not too much wind noise, there probably is. Wow. This tree was not dead like this last time I came. Mech in 15 years ago, but still. A little bit more technical. Maybe fall to your death right there. Maybe not. Whew. Probably be super careful for rattlesnakes. Some way out here. If I get bit, I'll just die. What? I promised you guys. I told you. I told you. Let's turn our light on our bike on. Probably not going to be sufficient with just the bike light. Ooh, look at these old bolts. There's probably no gate here at one point. Dang, I'm such a history buff. I'm such a butthurt for this. I'm such a butthurt for this. Oh my god, it smells like a mine too. Where's my light? Dude, the gimbal floodlight is perfect. I never would have seen this. Right next to my head, the bird flew. Damn. 
Spooky. This is spooky. This is cool though. I think I'm gonna leave my bike right here. I feel like it's safe. Got me home, guiding light. Here we go. Let's go. Let's bust out our secondary light. How far is this gonna go? Bro. There's birds. That would have scared the shit out of me right there. For sure. It's all bird flu. I'd be looking up top, I guess, huh? There were dudes in here at one point prospecting. Looking for precious metals. Looking for different things of value. What is that? I cannot see too terribly far in front of me. This is low-key creepy. Evidence is a fire. Cool as hell. Oh, it's a piece of trash. Great way to be human beings. Awesome. There's the coal seam. That's the coal seam they were chasing, huh? Look at this gate. Crazy. This is insanity. Damn, look at the chain come along back there. I can't see any of my display right now, so I don't know if my footage is trash or not. But if you guys come places like this and you do see stuff like that come along back there, take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints, guys. Don't leave garbage behind and don't take artifacts if you happen to come across them. This shit is part of like the actual natural history of the area and it should be preserved, right? No more PSA. I'll say this, it's definitely warmer underground right now than it is outside. Kind of uh, shocking, but it's definitely a cooler breeze out here than it is in that confined space. <sighs> Leave a thumbs up if you like mine content. I'll go find more mines and shit for you guys. I'll find ghost towns, I'll find mines, I'll find ruins, I'll find lost cities. I don't care, I'll go anywhere, I'll go anywhere. I'll take this bike, we'll go anywhere, we'll go any everywhere together. Let's go, leave a like if you like it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start heading back because I know it's starting to already see that sun creep up the hill and over the ridge there. It's going to mean hot temperatures, and like I said, I'm I'm just not conditioned for this. This is an ambitious ride for me just based on my level of uh, fitness and my uh, number of years around the sun. I think we're going to go ahead and start heading back the other way, but at least most of this direction is some really cool downhill stuff. I'm going to save my battery for that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, technical trails. Nice morning. This is lit. Gotta get back in the saddle on this one. I hope I don't fall on camera. I have no faith in the gooseneck. Damn, that right there shows I have to replace it. When you get to a point with something where you're literally scared to do a motion because that motion has landed you over the bars in the past, that's when you gotta change that component. You can't have a lack of faith in your gear. You gotta be able to trust your gear, guys. Drop my seat. Let's go. Just take it easy. I don't trust this seat. That I don't trust this uh, gooseneck. But man, cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh man. Fuck. Yo. I remember that crossover from years ago. Yeah. That was good. Fork works good. You see some dudes are just hanging it out right here, I bet. Not me, I wanna live. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. 
Yes! Dude, we are covering so much distance so fast. Oh, oh it's cruising. Fuck. It's gotta be 35 plus. This is 35 plus, no doubt. No doubt. Those 29 inch wheels just fly. Oh my God. Yes. On your left. All right, guys, I think this would be a great place to go ahead and end today's episode. If you liked today's episode, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more. with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel, as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.